this video we're going to have a look of how can I download the project file or the project code from github now let's do it first of all just open up your web browser you can use any of them Firefox or Chrome but I would use Brave as you click on the description down below it will take you to this page so now what I'm going to do I'm going to copy this by click on the green button right here and then click on the URL and click copy now open the terminal and then I will create one of the folder I will create the folder on my desktop called Laravel and then just cd in that I type in git clone and then pass the URL that we just copy I want it to be cloned into this folder so it just hit space and then dot and then I hit enter it will clone into this folder without creating another folder that I do not want it to be all right now when we list the file you can see that we have a lot of file in here the next thing what we're going to do you cannot just type in php artisan surf like you used to no cannot do that what you're gonna do now we need to run composer update first all right so composer update that will take some time because there's a lot of file to be downloaded in here all right if i list the file again you'll see that right now i have the folder called vendor here at the very beginning we don't have vendor folder because it's quite big folder so i do not want to upload it and the other one what we need is npm install we need this one as well because we need the node model so type in npm install and hit enter you're going to get that next what we're going to do is we have to edit the file one file is called we don't have .env file but we have an example file right here so just copy that by typing cp and then .env to .env now just open up your text editor program whatever you like to use just go ahead and do that myself i am a big fan of vim so i type in vim and then dot and then hit enter now let's edit this file the file name dot env now let's have a look if if you use mysql this is where you're going to take a look at you just change here to mysql but this project i use sqlite and also right here you may have to put an absolute part so how do you know your absolute part well all you have to do you do like this now in your terminal i just want it to be clear on the screen so that's why i use another one so go into your folder collaborable and then what you're going to type in here is pwd or part working directory so this is your absolute part now just copy this and then you put it into this file just like so now all we have to do with this file is just like this now save file now you can create it you can close the file next just type in php artisan key and colon generate hit enter it's going to set the application key for you and then next command you're going to run is php artisan serve and hit enter it's going to show up like this and you're going to click on this it will open the web project for you it's working okay let's move to so i make it big screen if you can see this screen show up it means your script is already run let's see what the feature in here that we have but by the way you can remove all of this data if you want to by run just one single command if you don't want all of this data now this one is about the post that user can 
post something and we have the login sections we have now let's log in if I am a user so we have a test user here this test as mylab.me I believe and the password is will be password login login set it will redirect to another now you can post anything right here if you want to do post and if it's your post you also can edit it so, I don't know if I have yeah right here so this one is belong to the test post Mr. Test here yeah, now you can edit it. okay and then let's go to the profile now in the profile and if you want to let's say if you watch the video from YouTube or anywhere that you can get an embed code like this let me show you so suppose that I watch this video and I like that because there's a lot of video on YouTube so sometimes I get lost so what I can do with this one I click on share and then embed it and copy the code here put it into my click on create new passes the embed code in here and also you can copy this as well if you want to or you can type it by yourself now click on save and then it will save you can see now is no reload no page reload but this one it show up and I can edit it or I can delete it if I, if I want to you can click on search box here and if you type in search it will show the results for you you click on this it will show the results and you can watch it through here or even click on here if you want to this one is the member section now let's go to the admin section I click on log out and then let's log in again the login will be admin at mylab.me and then the password is also the password login so this one is how admin section look like on the admin section you have more link I'm not going to show you all of this because it would take too much for this video so I just want to make this video maybe 10 minutes otherwise it will be too long and boring so you just go ahead and download this script and test it on your computer alright that's how I do it Thanks for watching.